Hi, I'm Apollo Riego, and I'm coming from New York City by way of the Philippines. When I was five, my parents got me the cups and balls trick for my birthday, and they've been regretting it ever since. <laughs> I was seven years old, and we moved to Queens. Being a first-generation American wasn't easy, and it still isn't. Money was always tight, and my dad had to get two jobs just to provide for us. To get lunch money, I used to perform in Central Park and on the subway. When I was 15, I got a job at Rogue's Magic and Fun Shop, and it saved my life. It kept me out of trouble and off the streets. And it gave me a place where I can hone my craft. I like to use the skills I learned from the magic shop and from the streets to create my own brand of urban magic. You gotta be able to stand out. The trick I'm doing tonight is stupidly dangerous. Whatever you do, do not try this at home. You know the expression, hey, it's all good, until someone gets hurt. Well, for magicians, it's not always all good. If you look up magic gone wrong online, you'll see a lot of people hurting themselves, trying to do dangerous tricks. There's screaming, there's crying, there's blood. But would anybody ever try doing something where they could get hurt? So tonight, I'm gonna do my magic with this. <laughs> Allison? Hmm. <laughs> I'm really scared of you. It's okay, I scare a lot of people. Mm. Allison, please, open this envelope and pull out what's inside very carefully. Uh. <laughs> Ew. Yuck. This is a heavy-duty rotary blade, sharp as a samurai sword. Just to prove I'm not lying, I'm gonna show you how deadly this blade is. Allison, huh? please, Hold the envelope with the blade inside like this, on the top. And I'm gonna use these two grapefruits to show you what would happen if I smash my hands directly on the blade. Hold it on the top, please. Wait, can I have goggles? <laughs> oh, great. If that was my bare hand, it would have cut right through my palm, and that'd be gushing blood all over your lovely stage floor. Yeah. And we wouldn't want that unless you're one of those bloodthirsty YouTubers. <laughs> I see you. Now, I have six more identical envelopes here. Five of them are sealed and empty. Allison, please, carefully take the blade and place it in the sixth envelope. Ooh. Now seal it. Now, while I turn away, please mix them. This is gonna create some uncertainty, drama, and a potential insurance claim in case this goes horribly wrong. <laughs> now keep two. Keep two. And put the rest on the table, please. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think I have two. All right. Yeah. Hold them up separately, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, you got them up? I do. All right. Now watch closely as I risk severing an artery. Actually, do you have a pair of goggles on you? Yes. Where is it? In my pocket. This one? Yeah. Do you mind? For you or me? For you. Oh, no, I don't put mind that. Just in case. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Looks good. Great. Here we go. Okay. <gasps> Paper cut. Ugh, I hate those. I'm sorry. Sorry, it's all good. Don't worry, don't worry. Now, you could pick up one more or two new ones. It's up to you. You have no idea where that blade is, but I'm feeling lucky. Okay. I'm gonna go two new ones. Okay. Whew. Two more, please. Okay. Now, you know the odds of injury are getting worse for me. Yeah, definitely. But, but if you guys want to see me get maimed, it's getting better for you. That's just sick. Let me just put it out there. <laughs> Good job. Last two, please. Feel free to mix them up. Okay. Okay. <sighs> 
Now, one of them has the deadly blade and one has nothing, but I have no way of knowing which is which. So, Allison, hmm. you pick. Ever so slightly, just lower one of your hands. That one. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh boy, you're making but... me very, very nervous. Okay. But let's try this out anyway. Lower it all the way, please. The, that, that one. Hold this one up, yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh my God. Who put strawberry jam in here? That's crazy. Was it, was it you? <laughs> but no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, Allison, please open the last envelope. Uh, can I just rip it? Sure, oh, be wait, careful. I can do it. And show everyone that the deadly blade <laughs> was in there the whole time. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't scary? know. I was, and I, you know, they made me put safety gloves on, and I didn't know if I should be more worried for me or for you. Oh, thank you. Is magic your career? Yes, it is, full time. Yeah. That's fantastic. And have you always known that that's what you wanted to do? Um, uh, in college, yeah, when I was writing a term paper. Oh. Yep. You're like, I, I can't do another I, paper. Yeah, Magician. I'm out of here. I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Are you primarily a street performer? Uh, no, uh, I haven't done street magic busking in a long time, but I used to do it as a kid. Really? And on the subways in New York City. Actually, recently, somebody was uh, trying to swap me away because I did a, I made fire appear out of my wallet. Wow. And uh, I think he was being a, he, he wanted to call the fire department on me. I was like, are you serious, dude? Come on, man, <laughs> I'm just trying to shoot some footage, you know? <laughs> okay, Apollo, let's see if Penn and Teller figured out the method to your magic. All right. Hey, Apollo, man, yes. we really, really like your style. It's really, really good. And it was just, you know, that, that tongue-in-cheek people liking to see danger and still letting us feel comfortable that you were doing that. And also, the peril being so small and delicate for a, for a big stage show is really, really nice. And if you had a, a choice of magicians, you would have chosen me because you absolutely 100% fooled me. <laughs> but unfortunately, you don't uh, because there's me, Ed Teller. Mm -hmm. Ed Teller, I think, followed you pretty well. But I got to tell you, it, it has such an image in your mind, you paint it so well with the strawberry jam and all of that, that if you were to smash that, you'd get blood all over you, you'd be marked, uh, Alice would have been marked, the envelopes would have been marked, everything would have been, uh, would have been covered in blood if you'd done that. So, I will tell you, you did fool me. I did not follow it, but then I uh, talked to my friend uh, Teller here, and I don't think you fooled Teller. And he gave me a few little key words to say there that I th think I uh, snuck in. So I'll ask you, did, uh, did you fool Teller, do you think? No, I didn't fool him. Oh, well, thank you Ed, so much. Apollo Riego. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.